Hey everybody, I'm sorry I am a little bit late. Uh, Facebook decided to change some things again and I didn't have a go live button. So fun times, Facebook, thanks. I love it when you throw a wrench into my day. So anyway guys, um, hopefully I am live on my Stampin' Queen page. I may have to go check if you guys are out there. Come on in, give me a like or a love so that I know that I did do this correctly um, because of the little glitches I'm having this morning. Okay, let me go check while you guys come on. Just hang out for a minute. I'm going to go check and make sure I'm broadcasting in the right place. Right. Do we have anyone out there? Okay. Mary's coming in. All right, friends, come on in. Say good morning. And uh, hopefully this goes a little bit better than uh, the first couple seconds of broadcasting. So um, welcome to my studio. I'm Jody Brackbill, Stampin' Queen, and it is the last Wednesday of the month, which means it's time for a WOW class. So back before COVID, I used to do in-person classes, WOW classes, the last Wednesday just kind of stepped up, little bit of technique, little bit of tutorial kind of deal. And uh, so whenever the pandemic came, I just kept it rolling and it became virtual. So I share Wow Wednesday with you guys um, the last Wednesday of every month. Now, normally I'm here every Wednesday at 10 anyway, but the last Wednesday is always WOW class. So while we have some friends coming on, hopefully some more folks will pop in. Hello, Susan. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, of course, if you can't catch live, you can always go back and catch the replay. That is no problem at all. So before we get Stampin', I do have some housekeeping to talk about because there's a lot happening in Stampin' world right now, and I want to make sure that you guys know everything that is happening. So um, don't forget, we do have our United Through Creativity digital download. This is available for everyone. It is totally free. This is something Stampin' Up! has not done before. So I'm super Super excited that we are doing something that celebrates diversity, celebrates differences, and uh, celebrates inclusiveness. So you can hop over to my demonstrator or my, my online store at jodybreckbill.stampinup.net and you can actually download your own copy. So once you download it to your computer, it's yours forever and ever, amen. So you can keep it, you can print it out. I suggest printing it on cardstock and then you can just cut it up, die cut it, um, you know, use your trimmer, whatever you need to use, cut up the images and actually use them to create your beautiful projects. So this is based around the fact that we are a global company, so we do um, celebrate our other markets. So we've got the US market, we've got Canada, we've got South Pacific, we've got Europe. And so you will see some things in um, some different languages, which is pretty cool. And um, you know, it's time to celebrate differences. We all aren't cut out of the same cloth. So um, check out the United Through Creativity download. <coughs> Excuse me. Good morning, Glory. Um, it was announced on Friday in honor of National or World Diversity Day, and it should be available for a year, I do believe. Uh, but once you have it, it's yours forever. So check that out. And what else do we have going on here? Uh, real quick reminder, guys, five days five days to take advantage of the join plus promotion so this is winding down it's going to end on may 31st and this is the best bang for your buck this is what i love to share because this is a discount on our starter kit so our starter kit is normally 99 dollars. you get 126 dollars in product for free um, or you get 126 dollars in product of your choice we have bumped it up and we have added 30 more dollars so not only um, are you going to get uh, what is that? $56 for free. You're going to get free shipping. You're going to get a free paper pumpkin, free business supplies. And of course that glorious discount. Anytime you order your Stampin' Up! supplies, you're going to get a discount of 20% up to 25%. All right. So if you have any questions about that, do not hesitate to hit me up. Like I said, we only have five days left. 
uh, in that promotion. And I never hesitate to share it because I love to see you guys saving money uh, whenever you're purchasing the supplies that you love. Quick reminder that we've got expressions in color. This is June's paper pumpkin kit. It is available for registration or subscription till June 10th. Okay, so hold on a second. I'm getting some messages. Um, so when I get text messages, it covers my whole my whole screen and I can't see. Um, we decided, my daughter just messaged me yesterday and said she had some PTO time that she has to use it or lose it by July 31st. Oh, so we're in a group chat. Okay, that's my sister and my daughter and myself are having a group chat because we decided we are going to have a girls trip and we're going to go to Boston. So if any of you guys out there are from Boston, live near Boston or have been to Boston, let me know any must sees or must do's. I have never been. It's been on a, it's, it's kind of a bucket list. I've never been to Boston, uh, but my daughter is, I'm um, considering some grad school. So we thought, well, if your job is telling you that you have to take some time off, let's take a girls trip and we'll go up there and we'll look at some schools and um, just hang out with each other and enjoy each other. We haven't done that for a really, really long time. So I'm super excited, but we have a group chat going on. And so um, that's what's happening right now is we're chatting with each other. And so whenever they text me, it covers up my screen. All right, back to stamping. That's why you guys are here, right? You don't want to hear about my vacation. Um, you want to talk about stamping. So expressions in color you have until June 10th. And this is what the box is going to look like. The, the box is going to be glorious. And it's going to coordinate with the expressions in ink, which I have not even gotten out yet, but it is fantastic. All right, quick reminder, um, Connect, Craft, and Collect is still going on. This is the host special until June 14th. We are giving you that extra $25 in host benefits when you hit that magic number of $250. Instead of getting $25 for free, we're giving you $50 for free. So I really love that. I've been taking advantage of it myself. Quick reminder, guys, if you are not over at Stamp with Jody B, that is my Facebook group. And... If you're not over there, you want to head over there, ask to join. I'm doing my annual scavenger hunt, and that expires Friday. So everyone who plays is going to get entered into a drawing to um, to uh, win some new product. So head over there, Stamp with Jody B. That's my Facebook group, and play along in my scavenger hunt. All right, the announcement is finally here. Registration is up. You guys have been waiting patiently for my next class and bingo fun. So it is focusing on Flowers of Friendship, which just so happens that we're gonna play with this one today. And uh, registration is open, so you can find it on my Facebook page, or my Facebook group. I also emailed it out. If you need the link to join, let me know. This is totally virtual, so it is held via Zoom. And don't be scared of Zoom, you guys. If you're not sure and you've never done it before, I will walk you through it. It's not hateful, it actually is a ton of fun. And it allows us to gather all over the country. I have so many of you who are joining me who are not local and wouldn't be able to come stamp with me. So we do it via Zoom and we're gonna have a class. We're gonna do make and takes. There's some product included. There's coupons to use um, and tons of uh, prizes. So we're gonna have some big bingo prizes. Last time, I haven't seen Doreen come on, but I'm, yeah, Doreen was our last winner and I'm thinking she almost got over $100 in product for free and a half price item. So um, this, I have big prizes guys. So Saturday, June 26, 11 a.m. Eastern time and RSVP by June 8th so that I can get the packets ready and get them out to you guys. So let me know if you need the registration link, but it was emailed out to you earlier this week and it is also posted on my group page as well as I have a Facebook page just for my bingoers. So let me know if you have any questions or you need the link for that and I will get it to you right away. So um, just another quick reminder, if you're ready to shop 24 seven, you can hop over to my online store. This is host code for the rest of this month. I know some of you guys don't like to shop online. That's totally cool. Just email me and I can hook you up. No problem at all. This is also where you'll head over to get your free digital download uh, for the diversity. Um, you, 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 what is it? Unified in creative united through creativity yes where you'll get your download all right now these are some things that are coming up so i want you guys to mark your calendar hi shannon so glad you're joining me today 
Uh, mark your calendar. It's not time just yet, but this little baby is getting ready to retire. So June 30th, this is the last day we will have with our mini catalog. Some of the items in here have transferred over to the big annual catalog, which is great. We love it. Um, the video sounds choppy. Is anyone else having trouble with the video? Uh, sounding choppy, it could be. I thought I turned my Wi-Fi off though. That usually is what happens. So guys, let me know if you're having any struggles with the sound at all. If you are, I might have to stop and restart uh, my connection. Okay, Debbie says no. So that makes me wonder, Shannon, if it's possibly your connection. Uh, sometimes that happens is um, it's trying to upload and download at the same time. So if it's given you a fit, uh, all you need to do is actually come back and watch the recording and that usually is the fix. So thanks guys. Oh my goodness, I'm dropping things. Ooh, almost had a big accident. Okay, super cool. Thank you guys for letting me know. So what you're going to do is mark your calendar for June 1st. June 1st is the last chance list from the JJ Mini Catalog. And uh, we are going to have a lot of items on there that are going to be up to 50% discounted. So I will have the list available. I also am going to ask you to hop back with me and we are going to do my, my standard catalog walkthrough. We're going to meet up here live. You guys are going to bring your catalog you're gonna bring a highlighter you're gonna bring a pen and we're gonna go through page by page and um, mark it down so that you guys know exactly what is on sale what is leaving what is staying so that you can um, take advantage of anything that you might need to grab before it's too late June 1st okay that's the last chance date the other thing that I wanted to that's the I should go back. That is when it starts, okay? So it starts June 1st. It's gonna run all the way through June 30th, but items will be while supplies last. So that means that if you see something, you probably wanna grab it because if it's a good deal, it's gonna sell out quickly. All right, my loves, let's talk a little bit about kits. So this is coming out again on June 1st as well. I am so very excited that we have brought back 10 all-inclusive kits. So this is something that we have been needing for quite some time. And um, it is not a subscription like Paper Pumpkin. These kits are going to be offered anytime, anyplace, anywhere. So um, you will notice if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber that some of them are refurbished paper pumpkin kits. Some of them were our favorite paper pumpkin kits, but they are now available as a standard kit where you can either go online to my online store and you can purchase. All right, everyone still with me? Okay, I had a phone call come in and that sometimes disrupts the apple cart as well. So thumbs up if you're still with me. Um, so anyway, I want you guys to check these kits out. We have stamping kits and we have non-stamping kits. So great, thank you guys so much. Um, <clears throat> now the, t the stamping kits, I love the price. I love the value, I love the price. Your stamping kits are probably gonna be about nine, eight to nine cards and um, they are $19. So that includes everything that you need, including your stamp set, your ink spot, and your block, plus everything else that comes in the kit. So um, we had a little meeting with some of my, the girls on my team to really think about what great ways we could use these kits in our, in our world, and some great ideas. I actually am gonna get together with a friend of mine, and we're gonna stamp with some of the folks at her, at her business. We're gonna have a brain break where they are just going to be able to get together, do some creative, um, have a creative outlet, but kits was the answer, because all I need to do is take everyone their gorgeous little box. I'm also getting ready to do a fundraiser for one of the libraries here in town um, because they haven't been able to meet in person to do their normal fundraising. So we're going to have a card making night and everyone will have their own little kit. So it comes in this super cutie little box. It's very much like a paper pumpkin box, um, but just not orange like the pumpkin. Uh, like I said, we initially came out with 10 kits. So there's going to be stamping kits, $19 for a stamping kit, $12 for a non-stamping kit. Oh my gosh, I can't even create 12 cards for, or nine cards for $12. Um, 
Anyway, they're, they're very easy, they're very quick. Um, a couple of the girls thought this would be a fun youth group activity, this would be a fun church activity. Um, some folks gather together in, around the holidays and the ladies like to do something crafty while the husbands watch football. This would be the idea. You just have everybody just grab their kit. So it is a fluid program, so keep in mind that kits will come and go. There will not be back orders so that we don't have to worry about those. When they're gone, they're gone. So if you see a kit and you love it, I I would suggest you maybe grab it because once it's sold out we won't be bringing them back unless there could be a caveat like if it, we were they were super super popular we might consider bringing it back but we're going to continue continually release new kits uh, especially during the holidays so during Christmas time you're going to see some cool kits so I wanted to share this one because this was one of the most popular paper pumpkins that we had. I had so many people message me after it went out and was like, how do I get it, how do I get it? And it was already sold out. Oh, fantastic. Susan ordered the butterfly ones. The butterflies is beautiful. I don't have it because I was only able to order one as a demonstrator and I gave them away to my team members. Um, but the butterflies is a non-stamping kit and it has this, these gorgeous butterflies in. Um, and But when I say non-stamping, it means that the sentiments are already like printed, hand, or printed out. So all you need to do is attach them to your card. Um, and Susan is going to take it um, next week to work on when she is, has her staycation. So, and that's so great because imagine all you need to do is pick up this little box, throw it in the car, and it can go wherever with you. You can throw it in your luggage and it can go on an airplane. You can work with them because they're portable. Everything you need is in here. So you don't need to bring the kitchen sink with you. Everything you need is here. I always take my pumpkins on vacation. Um, I love that. A little bit of downtime, but I don't have to take a ton of stuff. My paper trimmer, glue, adhesive, all that good stuff. So let me show you this little kit here, and then we'll get on to some stamping, I promise. So this one was called No Matter the Weather. Do you guys remember this one as a paper pumpkin subscriber with those super adorable little rain boots? And we had that cutie little bunny right there. Um, the rainbow boots, people loved this kit and it sold out and you couldn't get any more. So we now have this as an actual standalone kit. So you could buy a thousand of them if you wanted to. And I would love if you would buy a thousand of them. I can sell you a thousand of them. So everything you need is in here. Looky, there's your little block, your, your twine, you've got some glue dots, um, all of your cardstock plus your envelopes cut ready to go. Of course, you get your little bitty stamp spot. So you have your basic gray spot. And then you have this adorable little um, stamp set that you can continue on using. So this is so perfect for those travelers. I have some of my ladies who are RV people and they don't have a lot of space. Um, maybe there's some people in your life that are like, yeah, I might like to make cards, but I don't want to commit to a new hobby. This is it. This is it, yes. Um, <laughs> it was perfect. If we would have had these during the pandemic, yes, that would have been awesome. So, um, oh, Susan said this one was one of her favorites. Yes, there is tiny, um, little raindrops in here. So you can't, I don't think you can quite see them, but there's these little embellishments. Can you see their tiny little, um, plasticky, uh, shiny raindrops. So I'm super excited. That was one of my favorites as well. And that is now a returning kit. So um, if you would like more information, let me know. But these go live June 1st and you can hop over, order them right at my online store, or you can always message me and I will help you out and uh, take care of things for you. All righty. So as always, I forgot to mention, um, we are here. Thank you so much for sharing. I so appreciate that, you guys. Um, I always do a prize patrol, right? And I have gotten backed up on my prize patrols. So I want to make sure I shout out, there is our snail mail designer series paper. This was like maybe two weeks ago. Deb Mikowski is the winner of the snail mail paper. So I have that for you um, in... Uh, well, I'm, I'm probably going to have a team team meeting packet for you, Deb, so I'll have that with that if that's all right. Then last week, we created these gorgeous cards with the simply, no, elegantly said. So we did those gorgeous cards, and I was going to give those away. So congratulations, Miss Beth Reeker. You are the winner of those three cards. So thank you so much for hanging out with me last week. And this week, so I have some of these left over. 
Oh, you're welcome, Deb. This is one of the cute little treat boxes. These are retiring out of the mini catalog, and I played with the little um, cute strawberries, and oh my gosh, guys, we're hoping, hoping, hoping that that strawberry punch is in within the next week or two. It's trying to make its way here, and I know you guys have been so very patient for the strawberry punch, so hang in there, but I thought I would give away this cutie little treat box, and it does have sweetie little treats inside. So all you need to do is like, love, comment, and share, and come back next week and I will announce my winner. All right, let's get stampin'. All right, so I told you guys that we're gonna play with Flowers of Friendship, and I just lost my project. This does come as a bundle with the cool little punch. Sometimes I love the fact that we have a punch instead of a die. Um, this is actually what we are going to use at my bingo event. So everything will be focused around the flowers of friendship. We will celebrate our friendship with some bingo fun. So we're going to play with that one. And I'm also going to use some sentiments from the pansy patch as well as the gorgeous pansy paper. So I'm not going to lie. Uh, the pansies were one of the last ones that I really put in my cart because I thought, oh my gosh, those dies, there's so many of them, that's going to be so much work die cutting them out, but I was in love with the paper. I love the gingham on the other side, but I also love the DSP. So if you're not a big fan of the pansies, I do suggest grabbing the DSP, it's gorgeous. But of course, look what happens, you guys. As always, it jumps in my cart when I'm not looking. And I actually have had a chance to play with the pansy and the dyes. And you know what? I'm in love. They're so much fun. And pansies are the pansies are just like a happy little flower. Not quite as happy as a sunflower, but they are just, they're so little and they're so sweet. And you just know spring is coming when you see the little, the little pansy faces. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a 3D project for you guys. So I get so wrapped up sometimes in doing um, cards that I forget sometimes that we need to create some other things. So we're gonna create this cute little box. Now I'm going to put the dimensions, it seems to be working well, I think you guys like it. After the video posts, I edit it and I put the dimensions in the description. So if that's working for you guys, I hope you like that. Um, and let me show you how to create this little box so you don't have to be worried, you know, trying to frantically write stuff down while I'm stamping for you. So I have got a piece of uh, Seaside, no, Soft Sea Foam. Seaside Spray is not with us anymore. Uh, sea, soft Sea Foam, and it is nine and a half by seven. Uh, let me grab my score tool. <clears throat> I thought I had it right beside me, but I didn't. All right, so we've got nine and a half by seven. We've got our long side put at the top, and we are gonna score at three and one quarter, four and a half, seven and three quarters, and nine. Then I'm gonna just give it a quarter turn and I'm going to score it at one and one quarter. Now it's been a while since I made this, so let's hope my brain, let's hope my brain remembers. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my folds, and I like to burnish them with my bone folder. It just makes your whole box start to go, to be, go together a little better. I also think I want my seal plus, or do I want me? I have, oh, I have tear and tape. That's fine, that's right here. Let's use that. Cause you definitely want a nice, strong adhesive. So I'm gonna cut off this little corner down here. We don't need that, so we're gonna get rid of it. And then I'm just gonna free these flaps. This is the bottom of my box. So I need to free them up so that it'll bend and fold the way that I want it to. Now, one thing that I like to do is make 
my edges a little bit angled, it seems to make the box go together a little bit better. So I just have a little tiny angle right there on that little flap. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just notch my edges. And I'm just cutting them at a slight angle. Um, sometimes it's called mitering, but it does just make everything go together a little bit better. It just makes the flaps not quite so bulky. And I'm doing every single edge. And it doesn't matter if they are not exact because this is the bottom of the box. No one is ever going to see it. Okay. So now I have a piece of designer series paper. Well, actually, let's go ahead and put, let's go ahead and do my um, tear and tape right here. And I like to run it right along the seam of this little box. So this box I thought is really cute. It's fairly, fairly decent size when you look at it and it would hold a nice little gift. I did have a little Velcro dot there. A little magnet would work, but I've got that nice little Velcro dot. But you could, you could put some candy in there. You could put, I mean, you could, you could do a significant gift in there. And I kind of was thinking we're heading into graduation season, wedding season, and sometimes you might need a little gift box to hold um, a nice little Prezi for somebody. So I'm going to peel off my tear and tape and then I just need to close my box like so there we go so now I make this the back so this is where my seam is so this is my front so before I put the bottom down or glue the bottom together oh my gosh I didn't refill after the last time when I was almost empty oh let's see if we have enough do we have enough I think so. I'm going to go ahead and put my designer series paper on. Oh, I don't know. Yeek. We may not have enough. Nope. I'm out. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. It's okay. My demonstrator had more. She has a whole big pile in her studio. So I just ran and bought some from her. Oh, now I have everything stuck together. Alrighty. So if any of you local folk ever run out of adhesive as well, you can hit me up. I've got adhesive in my studio ready to roll. There we go. Alrighty, now we're cooking. So I'm just gonna put that designer paper right here on the front of my box. And that's that pansy paper, which I love. I'm only doing the front. I didn't decorate the back side. I didn't think it was really necessary. So now we need to put some adhesive on our uh, flaps here. So I'm just gonna raise the flap up a little bit and put my adhesive on here. So I'm using, using the old tear and tape, but you could use um, snail plus or seal plus if you have that. Um, you could use green glue if that's your that's your preference if you like the Tombow. I just like a nice strong adhesive when I'm making 3D items. I don't want it to come, a, to come apart. Okay, so now I always like to, to determine which is my front because I want to, to make sure that my flaps go on the right way. So, now I'm not sure that I wanted to do that because that's okay. So what I'm concerned about now is that I've got some adhesive here that is going to show through the bottom of the box. So it's no big deal. This is my sample so I can fix it at a later time. So we're just going to carefully close that box and then I like to stick the bone folder down there and just tap it down to 
to make sure it's good and stuck. So when I'm looking down through there, there's actually a little bit of adhesive that's sticking out. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of cardstock down in there as, as, a, as a base and just stick it down there so that the adhesive won't stick to whatever my little gift is gonna be. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Debbie says my demonstrator is amazing. I like her. Alrighty, so now we're gonna close this one. And this is not a problem at all. Ta-da, there we go. So now all we're gonna do is just pinch our box. That's it, just a little pinch, okay? And what I did ahead of time was I grabbed one of our new dies, the color and are the scalloped contour dies, these dies right here. So these are called scalloped contours. They work with the color and contour uh, stamp set. This is brand new, but I use these constantly. I love all of these little scallopy uh, rectangles. They're so much fun. And I never clean them out. I, I leave a mess. So I've got white a white one and I did a seafoam one here as well. So I'm gonna grab some polished pink and the happy birthday from the pansy set. And I'm just gonna stamp it a little bit to the right because I'm gonna put a flower here on the other side. All right, so ahead of time, I did two flowers from my Flowers of Friendship and I punched those out and I want some glue dots, but I don't see them here. I punched them out. I colored them with our polished pink Stampin' Blends. And let me grab some glue dots. I usually always have a pile on the table, but they, they've gone missing. So I just took a big one and a little one and I'm gonna glue dot them together. And I'm just gonna kind of fold up their little ends so that they have some dimension. And I'll layer them together. And then I'll put a glue dot on so that it goes on my sentiment. There we go, so we'll be ready for that. Then this is gonna actually be our topper. So I'm just gonna fold that in half. And I definitely want my bone folder for this one because it'll make that nice, crisp crease. And I'm gonna do tear and tape on the back. Again, you could use Seal Plus. I'm not sure if I would use the green Tombow on this one. I want it to really stick. There we go. Now, before I put that on, let me see if this will be easier to do before it's on, is to put my ribbon. So I have, this is the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. I'm so happy to see Baker's Twine back. And it's got uh, five different colors. So we have white, black, vanilla, um, maybe Sahara Sand and Crumb Cake maybe, but I love this Baker's Twine. Love it, love it. So I'm just going to give myself plenty of twine here and just wrap so we can tie ourselves a little bow. Then you can always fuss around with it a little bit more, get it the way that you want it to work, and Oh, it's on the wrong side. Can I make it jump up? No. Oh my, Atlanta. All right, try again. It needs to be on the front, not the side with the adhesive.
here we go. Do over. That's the bad thing about live though. You have to watch my mess ups. But hopefully you're learning what not to do. There we go. I think that's a little better. So now we will attach this to the back side. It's giving me a fit. It doesn't want to come off. I could grab my poker tool, but <clears throat> I don't have it handy right at the second. Okay, there we go. So I'm trying to think of what I did. Hmm. I think I put it on with the front so that I had it lined up the way that I wanted it to. So I need my seam right there. There we go. And then I'm just going to push the back. So I can reach in there and then I can really make sure that I have it good and stuck. Now my final step would be I'm going to put something on here like maybe I have on this one I've got that little tiny Velcro. Um, I got that I think at Walmart or Joann's or something like that along the way. Little baby Velcro dots. So let's do, oh I'm running out of pop dots here. Let's put some pop dots on our sentiment. And then we're gonna move on to our next wow card. All right, you guys hear my dog grumbling? Something must be happening outside. All right, so finally we need a little pretty, right? We need a little pretty on there. So I'm just gonna grab one of these little genial gems and we'll just put that right in the center of our flower. There we go, so there's what our box will look like. Cute, right? And I'll make sure you guys get the dimensions as well if you want to create them on your own. Alrighty, so let me make some space here because I'm running out of room and we're getting ready to create our next wow project which is called a tower card have you guys made these yet they are so fun and this was going to be in my class that i had for my stamp club so there's my tower card it does fold in and will fold flat so you can put it in the mail um, and then it is freestanding so you can stand it up uh, when you give it to someone and they can have it on their desk and so i was as i was literally cutting this and prepping this for my class my sweet friend miss vicky sent me this one in the mail using the hydrangeas and i was like oh my gosh how perfect i was totally doing that for my class next week isn't that gorgeous with the purples mm, so pretty and then she just put the white panel on the back so that you can actually sign your card and send it to your friend so let's go ahead and get started with this now what I always like to do when I'm doing a wow class to start off is I like to make myself my a template out of junk stock. So this is just crappy old cardstock from I don't know where. And then I always cut it and I make sure that everything is going the right way, that I had everything correct before I mess with my pretty cardstock. So that's my suggestion is to make yourself a template, put your little dimensions and your directions on there. And um, this isn't my original. I lost my original somewhere along the way. So I know that these are correct. The only thing I don't know is the sizes of the paper, the DSP I'm about to use. So I'll make sure to post that uh, when I edit as well. All right, so I've got a peach. I've got a peach. <laughs> I don't have a peach. I have a piece of papaya. And let's score it first. I do like to score on my Simply Scored. I can totally score on my trimmer, but I do like to score on my Simply Scored. So this is eight and a quarter by five and a half. So it's a smidge shorter than your regular half, um, half sheet of cardstock. So we're gonna put the eight and a quarter side at the top and we are gonna score at one, two, six and a quarter, 
and seven and a quarter. And that's all that we have to do for the scoring. Now you will need a paper trimmer for this. And, um, yep, I'm okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this edge, I'm gonna start at one inch. So I'm gonna put that edge in my cardstock. So I scored this way and then I'm cutting this way. So I'm gonna put that one and one, this side at one inch and I'm gonna bring my paper trimmer down to one inch, which is actually the first score line going this way is one inch. So there's little, little slits here in your trimmer. Some of you guys might have like a little arrow or a little point. That's to tell you exactly where the blade is. And that's important to know because you need to start it and you need to stop it. So I'm gonna watch and I have my little slit right there at my one inch and I am just going to cut all the way down until that little slit matches three inches. And I'm gonna do that the whole way down. Now this edge is gonna slide over here to two inches. Now that I'm at three, I'm gonna leave it at three and I'm just gonna go up and stop it at the one inch cut. I'm gonna slide on over so that this edge now hits three and a half. And I'm at one inch, so I'm gonna cut down and stop at three inches. Oops, there we are. Then I'm going to slide this edge over to four and a half, and I'm going to do the exact same th the, the exact same thing. So since my cutter's already at three, I'm just going to go cut up to one. So I'm not sure what happened there. It had a little bit of an uh oh. It wasn't in the groove, I guess. Now I need to turn it and do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Now, if you're good at math, you can figure out what the math is. I don't like to mess with math, so I just do the same thing over and over. So I'm gonna slide, I was at one inch, now I'm sliding over to two inches. I'm gonna cut, so what is going on with my trim? Oh, it's not, it's not cut, it's um, not shutting the whole way. That's why, all right? So now I'm gonna slide over to three and a half, and I'm gonna cut from one inch To three inches I'm gonna slide over to four and a half and I'm gonna cut from one inch to three inches so that's all I need this is now my tower card but what I need to do in order to create the folds is I need to put score lines right here but that's the only place I don't want to score this whole card I only want to score and connect right here and right here. So I think the easiest thing for me is I just put it in my trimmer, I line it up at three inches, and then I just take my bone folder right through the track and I just connect them. And then I'm gonna turn it and do the same thing. So if I line that up at three inches, and then I just connect those cuts. Okay, so see where I put the score lines? Just connecting those. I don't want a score line in the center or else you'll see it uh, on your card base. So now it's time to do a little folding. So I'm gonna fold these edges up, burnish them with my bone folder. Everybody hanging in there okay? It's not too painful to watch. Now I'm gonna fold these back and carefully I'll burnish them because I don't wanna tear any of them. All right, so then this one gets pushed back, this one gets pushed back, and then you have to kind of make that little fold right there. So what'll happen is the whole thing should close and I'll just burnish with my bone folder there. So I'm gonna push that one back, I'm gonna push that one back, and close. Is it all making sense? I hope you guys enjoy these WOW classes. All right, so now I've got little pieces and parts here. 
and I'm gonna take, I'm pretty sure this is five and a quarter by three quarters. So let's just attach that. These are like our little wings here. And they go right here, just cute little pansies. There we are. One down the other side as well. There we go. Then I've got little strips here. This is gonna go at the top. It's gonna go right across here. Uh-oh. All right, I should have another one, but I don't. All right, so I must have lost, oop, is it here? Nope. I don't see it on the floor either. Anyway, I can cut another one, but the same size is gonna go right down there. And then I have this one for the middle. And we'll just stick that right here in the center. There we go. So ahead of time, I cut out one of the little scallops from the scallop contour, and you'll notice that these are free right here on the sides, and you can actually tack your ribbon through there. So I'm gonna cut just a tiny little piece. I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back. and then I'll just slide my ribbon through so it doesn't have to wrap on the scallops, which it works on this card in particular. It doesn't really matter because both get end up getting covered up anyway, but on other cards, you can create some fun with that. The other thing it will also do is you can put a front on here and you can tack it. Um, these are both free, so they act like as a little corner, so you can do some cool stuff with that. So I have that on here. Let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. And I'm gonna do this a little bit off to the edge as well. This is again, another sentiment from the pansy set. And I use the soft succulent ink. All right, and then ahead of time, um, I can go ahead and attach. Let's go ahead and attach that down with some pop tarts. I'm gonna put some right on my ribbon so that it doesn't come off. And I'm also being careful, I don't have them too far on the edges. There we go, put that right there. Now we need a set of these. Actually we need two sets of those, so let me go ahead and stamp another set here. I'm gonna see if this works. I put them all on hoping that maybe, <laughs> oh my gosh, Susie. Susie had to put her hair up when she was making this one because it was causing her to, to sweat. She was getting hot and bothered, but it didn't, it came out all right. It came out all right. Put your hair up and get in and get dirty. All right, let's see how I did here, if this lined up at all to get them punched out all at the same time. Not too shabby, Jody. not too shabby. All right, so now we've got to do a little bit of coloring. I thought I did it ahead of time, but Avi, I didn't. Uh, I did, I went and took my walk this morning with Breck and then planned this trip with Taryn. So I thought that I had prepared things a little bit more than, than what I did. So we're gonna do some quick coloring with the blends. And I know you guys love blends as much as I do. Oh, I just, I can't get enough of them. So this is the polished pink. It's just gorgeous. And I, did I color on there? No. I think sometimes when I, when I first get and I'm like, oh, do we really need another pink? Like we have Flirty Flamingo and we have Melon Mambo. And then I see this one, I'm like, nope, it's totally different. 
and yes, we need another pink. So it kind of falls right in the middle. And let's do, the edges are gonna be the light. Oh, I hope you do try this one, Susan. And then post a picture, share it, show me what you made. This would be cool with so many of the designer papers. And I, this is a case. I'm not sure who I did um, case this from. It might be um, my friend Lena from Canada. I feel like maybe this was one of her ideas. But I, I do so many things along the way, sometimes I lose track of maybe where I saw the idea. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of color on our our little flat, our, uh, um, what are these called? Leaves. Um, one thing I would suggest is coloring before you cut out it does make things a little bit easier because things aren't just flipping and fall, falling around while you're trying to color. Do I want, yeah, I guess I do want two, two leaves. <clears throat> there we go and then I'm gonna do papaya on our big one so I haven't labeled these yet usually when my blends come I get out my little um, P-Touch machine, my little labeler, and I put labels on. It'll say papaya light and papaya dark because I know some of you guys are bifocal babes too. And those little words, they are tough. And sometimes your cap doesn't really give you, get, tell the truth whether it is light or dark. So I do like to put a little label on and that helps me a lot. Oops, so sorry. Bumped you with my head. All right, so we're just down to assembly now. We're just gonna finish coloring these in and then we're gonna attach them together. And it just makes such a cool, different little card. And it's called a tower card. So you can Google, hop on Pinterest, put that in and find tons of different ideas making the tower. Alrighty, so now for a little dimension, I'm gonna grab my little poker and I want my stylus end. And I'm just gonna poke in the center of each one. And that just gives me a little depth to those little flowers. It just cups them a little bit. Um, Alrighty, so let's grab some glue dots and glue dot these little flowers together. Somebody came to my door, so Breck's gonna, he's gonna huff around a little bit. Okay, you're, you're good. I know. I got it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep using my glue dots. I just love glue dots for attaching these little leaves. So I'll just put, I'm gonna do the big leaves on the big flower and the little leaves on the little flower. Nope, gotta pick it up. There we go. And I think we'll use the glue dots to go ahead and attach it to my card as well. Mm, maybe I want a dimensional. Let's use a bitty, a bitty dimensional. There we go. And I don't want my flower to cover up my sentiment. That's what I want to be careful of. There we are. 
All right, I'm gonna put one more under there because it just seems a little bit unstable. So let's throw another one under there and it's kind of hidden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we are. It was just a little unstable for me. So let's put our little leaves on. Hey Beth, I see you're on. I'm not sure when you popped in, but did you hear that you were the winner from Prize Patrol last week? So I've got something fun for you. Um, do I want a dimensional? Yeah, when in doubt, add a Pop-Tart. I'm just using the little bitties for that one. There we go. And I went a little bit low, hmm, do, so I was gonna put a bow on, but let's see how I like it. I'm afraid it might be taking up too much room, so I might leave it off, but we'll see what it looks like. So I'm gonna tie a little bow. This open weave ribbon is fantastic. It is so fun to work with, but I was gonna put a little bow right there. I think it'll work. I think I made it small enough. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it to it, Mountain Dew. Put some snot dots on there and attach that little bow. Oh my gosh, so cute. Yes, and Let's finish it off. Um, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put green. Let's put a green flower center for these. All right. There we are. Oh, Marilyn, you have to make this card. Please do. This would be gorgeous with the pansies too. So I think that's just so cute and cool. And like I said, it'll fold right up and it goes in, in an envelope and then it'll free stand on somebody's desk so they can look at the gorgeous thing that you created. Did I put ink on there? Poo. Oh, well, it's no big deal. I do need to add that piece of DSP down here. I was short that piece. So here's what we created. We made that tower card and we did this cutie little box so hopefully you guys enjoyed and um yeah i'm just um I, I love it i love it so thanks so much for joining me for wow wednesday everybody don't forget to head on over to stamp with jody b that's my group on facebook so you want to head over there if you're not a part of it because we do lots of fun things over there i'm always live here because i'm able to share it um, but we do other cool things over over there and i'm actually getting ready to give away a paper pumpkin this week so you definitely want to hop over to stamp with jody b so thanks so much for hanging in there with me today and going through wow wednesday with me i hope you enjoyed come on back and join me next <laughs> oh my gosh colleen your dog was looking for breck <laughs> He does that sometimes too when I'm watching videos and he hears another dog. Uh, he goes crazy whenever there's dogs on other videos. That's so funny. So anyway, guys, have a great week. Come on back and visit me next week for, for What's Up Wednesday.